Stewie, do you want to try out for Mommy's play? <clears throat> now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this son of York. And all Why the... don't you sing Itsy Bitsy Spider? How dare you reduce my finely hewn thespian stylings to mere mother gooseries? Oh, sing Baba Black Sheep. You know, Mother, as First Lady of the American stage Helen Hayes once said, I'm going to kill you. Oh, look at Stewie. Isn't he adorable playing with the Sesame Street phone? Put me through to the Pentagon. You know what sound a cow makes? Don't toy with me, Ernie. I've already dispatched with Mr. Hooper. I've got six armed men stationed outside Big Bird's Nest. And as for Linda? Well, it's rather difficult for a deaf woman to hear an assassin approach now, isn't it? Let's go. All right, we need some wheels. This one's unlocked. An SUV? Look, we're trying to elude someone. We're not driving to soccer practice. Say something. What? D just say something, please. Oh, for God's sake. Um... Uh, yea, and God said to Abraham, you will kill your son Isaac. And Abraham said, I can't hear you. You'll have to speak into the microphone. And God said, oh, I'm sorry, is this better? Check, check, check. Jerry, pull the high end out. I'm still getting some hiss back here. Say something about my mother. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Attention, world leaders. I have 137 nuclear warheads trained on every capital city around the globe. The world is now under my control. But oh no, I'm naked. <laughs> uh, what the deuce? Ah, thieves! Ah! <laughs> Damn you, mop and glow. You know, Rupert, the word gullible is not in the dictionary. Whoa, whoa, you don't believe me? Here, look it up. What? What's that? It really isn't. Oh, Rupert, touché. Hoisted by my own petard. <laughs> I am so alone. I say, it's like the spice rack in my fantasy kitchen. Hold on, little fella. This is just for big people. Why don't you come back in about, oh, 17 years? Oh, but, but, but the shelf life of that sodium pentothal is only two years and... Blast! This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small stature. Okay, our next lot is number 15 in your program. This is a one-of-a-kind item, a super mega death ray. It's got the power to enslave the entire human race. Do we have an opening bid? <coughs> Anything? <coughs> We'll oh, take any yeah. bid. Back. It can enslave back. the human race. Come on, over people. Here. It's solid hey, titanium. You! Over here in the back! Do I hear a hundred dollars? Oh, come on! Five dollars? Oh, yeah! Ooh. All right, free? Ooh. Enslave the human race. Doesn't cost you a dime. Behind the fat chick! Nope. Go! Okay. If I were big, oh, just think where I would be. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. So, Broccoli, Mother says you're very good for me. Well, I'm afraid I'm no good for you. The first rule of war is know thine enemy, and I know this. Cold kills broccoli. It's so simple. All I need to do is build a machine to control the global environment. Forecast for tomorrow... A few sprinkles of genius with a chance of doom. So, the man in white is coming to put me back in the womb, is he? Well, if I am to defeat him, I shall require professional forces. Yes, yes, there we are. Come to Managua, the mecca of mercenaries. I must prepare for my journey. I see grenades, mace, a packet full of Cheerios. Well, hey there, little boy. Are you lost? Now listen to me, Jolene. I've got an army to raise, and I must get to Nicaragua. I require a window seat and an in-flight Happy Meal. And no pickles! Oh, God help you if I find pickles. Hello? Is anybody home? Uh-huh. Greetings, man in white. I've been expecting you. Who said that? Peekaboo, I see you. You're getting warmer. Where are you? What do you want? Freedom! What do you want? I want to get the hell out of here! Oh, I'm sorry. We're fresh out of that. 
I'm afraid all we have left is untimely death. What the hell do you think you're doing? Strapping you in, honey, so you don't get hurt. So I don't get hurt. That's the best you can come up with, you dull-witted termagant. I brought your raffy tape. Play wheels on the bus and get the hell out of my sight. Yes, yes. The Pacific Rim economy is still a tad shaky for my taste. Oh, oh, stop it, stop it. Now, look here, you can't become a bloody fiscal hermit crab every time the Nikkei undergoes a self-correction. Asia's market has nowhere to go but up. Interesting. Indeed. No, it's Stewie. He peed on the carpet. Do I... do I hit him? No! Bend down, Mother. Yes, honey? How dare you sully my good name by spreading your slanderous filth! Stewie, no hitting. Use your words. Oh, he's, he's probably just a shame, Lois. You're just a helpless little carpet tinkler, aren't you? Well, the outrages I have suffered today will not be soon forgotten. I will not be forgetting those outrages. No, no! No, they won't be forgotten. Not outrages, the outrages. Yeah, yeah, I think we got it. Oh, what the hell is this? I said egg whites only. Are you trying to give me a bloody heart attack? Make it again! Ah, uh, the breakfast thing. <laughs> yes. I, it, it wasn't even about the eggs, really. Frankly, I like the yolks. I, I, I don't... I have no problem with... It's just... There's always been a lot of tension between Lois and me. And it's not so much that I want to kill her. It's just... I want her not to be alive anymore. 